There isn't this one particular process to follow that's going to look exactly the same in every single nurse coaching session. It's client-led, co-created between nurse coach and client and this beautifully creative present moment that we get to do and have fun with and really dance and play in the moment together. All right, nurses, nurse coaches, welcome back to the Nurse Coach Collective podcast. Heather here, joining me is Peter. <laughs> Today we're talking about reclaiming creativity as a nurse and what that might look like for you and what that's really looked like for us and some of the many nurse coaches who we know. Yes, creativity is incredibly important and it's right there in our manual, The Art and Science of Nurse Coaching. Yeah, that number one book to prepare you for the Nurse Coach Board Certification. If you want your entire list of core competencies and scope of practice, it all starts with the art and science of nurse coaching. And what that requires is creativity, tapping into the limitless well of what it means to be creative as a healer. Cool. I think I have never really realized that it is the art that comes first in the art and science. And for good reason, because most nurses were super familiar with what the science is, right? And any nursing role that we're in, there's the science, there's the evidence that informs our practice, there's the protocols that we follow, there's the steps that we take, and then there's the human side, which is where the art comes in. The creative endeavor. And this is really, really important within the context of nurse coaching because connection which is where so much of our work is built, right? We have to really connect deeply with our clients and they have to feel a sense of connection to us in order to trust us, to be able to open up and be vulnerable about their process of change and healing. That connection necessitates creativity. And when we have all of these different elements of the science, so we have all these different things that inform our practice as nurse coaches, right? Building rapport, appreciative of inquiry, motivational interviewing, lifestyle sciences, all these different other coaching techniques that all come together. And at any moment, they're like swirling around us. So if I'm having a session with you, all of those potentials are there for me to tap into at any given moment. And then whatever you're bringing to me, I like is additional potentials that are there. And so the creative endeavor, the art of nurse coaching is taking all of those potentials, being able to synthesize them and trust that you're going to be able to be creative and to be in flow and to try new things in order to serve and support your clients. I love that because there isn't this one particular process to follow that's going to look exactly the same in every single nurse coaching session. That's literally impossible and would defeat the purpose of what makes nurse coaching so powerful, which is that it's client-led, co-created between nurse coach and client and this beautifully creative present moment, let's see what unfolds and be open and willing to try new things together process. Yeah. And I mean, I've tried both sides. I've tried the side where I'm literally learning a new thing. And when you're learning something new, what are you doing? You are going kind of going through the checklist. And you're like, oh yeah, I did that one. God, good job, Pete. I did that one. <laughs> yes, really good. But what that ends up doing is it feels a little bit uh, dry. Yeah. Or inauthentic or scripted. Yeah. And it's kind of as though, you know, I play guitar. We like to sing together in uh, other parts of our life. And, you know, the first time that you're running through a song, it feels a little bit tough, right? You're still learning the chords, you're learning the structures, the melodies. But by the second or third time, like you really start to get in flow. And so the same is true when you're using new nurse coaching techniques is the first couple of times it can be a little bit challenging. But then once you start simply integrating that into everything else that you do and to really begin to trust your client, that it could simply be part of your flow and part of your creative process, and you can trust it. The first couple of times you're doing it, you're relying on the chords that you know, right? You're taking those techniques, those tools that are most accessible to you because you've been practicing, but then over time and with practice and learning to have more fun with more creativity, that's when you get to start improvising and start making up, you know, new new tunes, new lyrics, new questions to ask your client. And we have actually often made this parallel between a nurse coaching session and an improv class, which full disclosure, I've never actually formally taken an improv class, but I do know that one of the primary rules is yes and. 
Yes, and. Yeah. Right? Which we're adopting in our learning to be co-podcasters <laughs> is to never try to have too much control over where the conversation is going and to remember to say yes and, right? To take whatever that other person brings to you and then see what's next. Where can we run with that? Where can we gr grow from here? Which you have to be incredibly open to creativity for that because there's always new things that can be thrown in at any moment. And I think in a lot of ways, it was actually one of our nurse coaching students who, who said this the first time was, I'm having so much fun in my session because in a way it feels like improv. I'm, I'm in that moment, improv with my client, bringing the best of what I know and all of the science and then leaning super heavily on the art, on my intuition, on my curiosity to ask questions in the moment. Yeah, curiosity, intuition. I love all of those things because when we start to tap into what it means to be creative, there really is this limitless well. It's kind of like when you are becoming more in tune with positive emotions, gratitude, awe, things like that. What we find is that the more that we begin to practice and tune into the sense of gratitude or the sense of wonderment and awe, the more that we find it everywhere. We experience it. The more it. we experience it. And the more that we practice creativity, whether in our day-to-day -day life or within our nurse coaching session, and that's why there's not so much of a disconnect between personal and professional life, right? They're all so synergistic. The more that we practice creativity, the more that we discover that it's it's unending. The more we, we practice, the more we find. The more we find, the more we find. And the more we use it in our sessions, we can just be like, yes, like now I get to have fun. I've studied it. I've practiced my butt off. And now I get to really lean on that sense of intuition, deep connection. And that's how you can get the best results. Because when you do that, you're setting the stage and making that invitation for your client to do that as well. It's not like, you know, if, if we're sitting together in a nurse coaching session, I'm bringing a hundred percent of the creativity and you're sitting there receiving it. No, this is like complete dual process that we get to do and have fun with and really dance and play in the moment together. We call it co-creative. Co-creative. There we go. That's what we You bring 100% creativity. I bring 100% creativity. And all that potential is always swirling within the context of the nurse coaching conversation. We get to just pull. We get to be creative. We get to be artful and have fun. All for finding the ways to be of greatest service for your client in that moment to pull from everything that we have to help them create and cultivate health and wellness and happiness and fulfillment and to reach their goals whatever they may happen to be how cool is that i mean how, how beautiful is that when you when you really get to to put that into perspective i think it's amazing yeah yeah it's a really really fun process and i think and it's it's not simply within the context of the coaching relationship in the sessions themselves, but really in all of nurse coaching. That's why I love it the most. <laughs> for me, and I think for so many nurses who have entered into this world, that's what, it's really given us this, like you see like the light switch, it's like a dimmer switch, you know? And a lot of times people, nurses in the traditional model, that dimmer switch has been turned way down. Like their lights been dimmed because they've given up in a lot of ways to the checklists and the protocols and feeling like, okay, that's just it. But what nurse coaching does is it turns it up. It turns up our light and we're allowed to like be fully creative in whatever we're doing in any healing capacity. And so within nurse coaching, it's not only within the sessions that we can be really creative, but also in how we build our practice, what we decide to do, and how that all translates into how we show up as healers. Yeah, we get the question all the time, right? What can I actually do as a nurse coach, right? Like, what's my role going to be? What's my job going to be? And we get some exciting plans for this coming up. I'm, I'm excited to... A future episodes to really dive in deep Get on some this. peeps on here. So <laughs> shout out to our transformative nurse coaches. You may be hearing from us soon <laughs> because we want to hear from you. We want to bring y'all on, on the show with us and to talk like really deeply about y'all's creative process and how you've infused nurse coaching and to hear that like more fine detail. Yeah, because when we talk about it a lot, we we get so excited and we get so broad and we talk about all of these different things that you can do because one of the things that I it, it is so exciting for us, it always has been and I think always will be, 
is the versatility in this role. And versatility and creativity, I mean, those those two go hand in hand. And so when somebody says, what can I do as a nurse coach? What can my role look like? I, I talk about that versatility, right? You can take it and you can implement everything that you're learning, the art and science, into your role in the hospital, bedside, leadership, management, education, right? You can work for holistic wellness centers. You can partner with functional medicine providers. You can work for insurance companies, which are hiring like crazy. I'm gonna keep talking. I can go a million miles a minute on this. There are so many different options, right? And in private practice, and private practice is this whole other entire universe of creative possibilities. And then we come down to this ultimate kind of mantra where we say you are only limited by your creativity. And I think that the first time I said that or heard that, I'm not sure I believed it fully. Kind of annoyed me. Yeah, I wanted to- For the first to, little block of time. I, I wanted to, I wanted <laughs> to believe that? it. I was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta give me something better yeah, than that. Yeah, you gotta give me like something more I'm only limited by my creativity. Like, tell me exactly what to do which is the antithesis of nurse coaching. <laughs> <laughs> we don't tell people what to do here. Yeah. And the more that I am learning what that really means, the more I love that statement, okay. right? You're only limited by your creativity. And, and we can replace creativity with words like your passion, your drive, your dreams, right? They, those are all sort of within this same context. But now we have so much proof in our community. We have nurse coaches who integrate coaching with yoga and mindfulness and other healing modalities and then put that into practice through wellness retreats on a beautiful yacht in the Red Sea in Egypt. You know who you are. <laughs> We have nurse coaches who run these most incredible outdoor wellness trips, right? Backpacking trips for women who want to get out there and, and have this amazing outdoor adventure, but also infuse the coaching. Nurse coaches have made their own roles. Like they talked to their CNOs, created a proposal. CNO is like, of course, yeah, we should definitely be doing this. And then they are either working with by coaching other nurses and, uh, and other providers like hospital staff, or they're working to be part of a more holistic clinic inside of the hospital and coaching patients. That's amazing. That's creativity. That's creativity. That's creativity. I think it's harder sometimes to like really know what we're talking about and, and that's it. It's all of these different ways that it can look, it can come to fruition. And it's all based on what do you want? What do you love? What do you want more of? What are you feeling called to do? And then using nurse coaching as this really amazing vehicle to be able to take you there. Yes. Yes. So I could talk for another half an hour, all at a million miles a minute on this, but I think you're right when it comes to like really delving into these unique directions and possibilities and, and what creativity can look like in all of these settings. Um, let's let's save that and let's talk about that when we can go more in depth. We can go more depth and talk to individual nurse coaches, really pick their brains. Yeah, of Yeah, course. I think that'd be super important. But I mean, for me personally, everything that I have done since becoming a nurse coach has been a creative process, right? How so? Starting a business, starting a practice, that's something that I never in a million years would have dreamed was in my wheelhouse to be able to call myself an entrepreneur, to identify as a business owner, to go on this joint professional journey with you. You know, those were things that I wasn't entertaining half a decade ago, and it's been an enormously creative process. And and then that has evolved, right? Building conferences, speaking in front of people, starting out in front of 15 people and then 30 <laughs> people and then 60 people and then like, boom, standing on stage in front of 200 nurse coaches. It is an incredibly creative process. And with that has come just mind blowing, like I'm saying mind blowing because it's just what keeps coming up for me, levels of empowerment and confidence and just self-discovery because that's what 
stepping into creativity allows for. No, that's awesome. And if for everybody, it's not going to be, you know, starting your own business or, you know, speaking in front of people or that's leading conferences. That's how your creativity manifests. But that's how it and has manifested for me, for sure. Yeah. And you've also trusted, learned to like really trust yourself in the creative process to know that like, the outcome will become what it's meant to be. You know, if, as long as you're willing to put in the work and you study the other things that you need to study, you study the, the science and, and the techniques and the methods, and then you allow yourself to be really creative in, in that process. And that's awesome. <laughs> I, I love that you're really, really bringing in all of those different pieces there. And yeah, for me, I'll just go ahead and loop back around to there. You know, I've, I've loved to do all those things as well. And I think what's beautiful about nurse coaching is that it doesn't, it's this evolution of the creative self as a healer. Like I remember starting and learning all these techniques and just being like, ah, yes, like, this is so cool. Like, let me try them, let me try them on. And you know, the way that they're listed in the book are never how they come out in during a session. Like I remember having times where like we, I would literally have my eyes closed. That's what my client wanted, have our eyes closed for an entire hour or two hour session, kind of like swirling in that field of potential together. And others who wanted to like lock eyes. I was like, all right, let's go, let's do this. You know, let's lock eyes, but it's, you know, bringing all those modalities together and then just being able to be creative in the flow and really recognizing that like, it doesn't stop, you know? So like I, I get creative with this one client and then I learn the next thing and it just builds off of it and builds off of it. And then being able to do what you said, which is, you know, the beauty of building a business, building a business together speaking, um, learning how to master my tongue, right? When it comes to being able to be more effective in my, my delivery of coaching techniques and dissemination of knowledge. And all of that for me has been a really creative process and I think so much fun. I think you really taught me a lot, Peter, about bringing creativity to my practice in a way that I hadn't previously considered. And this is something that's an, another amazing thing about the nurse coaching community, right? Is that we're always learning from each other, right? Everyone, everyone's wins serve us all because they allow us all to grow. Um, because even though I was really leaning into the art and the human connection, and I was loving that, right? The time and the space to be human and connect, that was my biggest um the thing I was missing the most the before most. <laughs> I mean, before I became a nurse coach. Yes, you know me. I'm a I'm a person, a people person, I'm a feeler, I'm an empath. I like to get in there with another person. And you reminded me that creativity can also look like getting weird, you know, moving the body, talking to different parts of self, talking to past, present, future, using visualizations. Um screaming into a pillow like you really actually opened my mind to how many different ways shapes and forms creativity can can look and can take on inside of a session hell yeah happy i did that for you <laughs> yes you did and i think it's it comes from just kind of this may be not the most uh, pro thing to say but not giving a who you know when the session can never be per like our nurse coaching sessions are never going to be absolutely perfect. Like just like how being inside of a being working inside the hospital and caring for others, it's never going to look exactly like the textbook looks. So if you have it in your mind that that's how it has to look, then you get stuck and you get stagnant and you get bored and your sessions become less impactful and your practice feels like eh. it's just yeah, kind of like, yeah, but if you allow yourself to, as you said, get weird and just kind of go for it. Just yeah. Give it a little bit more gusto and a little bit more oomph and just to be like, what would I do? That's really fun here. Mm -hmm. Then you can do that. You can do that and you can be fully informed by the sciences while also being a practitioner of the arts. What would I do that's really fun here? Right? Like talk about reclaiming something to our nursing practice. I don't remember walking down the hallways in the ICU wondering, what can I do that's really fun here with my patient? What's really going to, you know, serve them in a way that's also creative and bringing in humor and empowerment and fun? Like maybe I could have done better at it now that I know what I know, but it's Well, been... nurse coaching made that happen for me. Yeah. You know, the last year of my clinical practice inside of the ICU was in a lot of ways the most fulfilling 
in terms of connection to my patients for me because I decided, you know, as I began my training to become a nurse coach, I was like, what can I do differently in my work, right? I'm on night shift in CVICU. I'm, I'm learning this. I'm transitioning from ER and learning this, uh, this skill set and this specialty, but what can I do that's different and that's going to be fun for me? And it was simple. It was so simple. It was crazy, which was to simply sit down and be with my patients for five to 10 minutes at the beginning of a shift and to do nothing else, but to sit there, to hang out with them, to talk, if they could talk, if, they, <laughs> you know, if not, to just share a moment of human connection with them. And that was a game changer for me. It gave me fun inside my practice, which allowed me to show up more. I had more energy. You have, I had more energy because my dimmer switch wasn't dimmed. I started turning it up. And when I did that, I was like able to be more, more energetic and then more focused in the other components of my job. Yeah. Because we can't ignore all of those other things that we need to do that have to get done, you know, especially in the more clinical setting, but there is space for the human connection, for the art, for the creativity. And maybe that's the invitation for any nurse, wherever you're practicing right now, to see how you can find more fun. How can you infuse, like today, more creativity into your practice? How can you infuse more fun? What can you do that allows you to reclaim creativity, to reclaim passion inside of your work? It's like the simplest thing that you can do to be able to start to reclaim that. You know, you asked me before we started recording this session, like, what is the most creative thing that I've ever done in a session <laughs> as a nurse coach? And I had to think about that because it's actually quite a challenge to boil down to like one moment inside of one session of the thousands that was the most creative when I try to pride myself on really implementing creativity all throughout every moment of every session. But the thing that came up for me, and no, this won't fit in a clinical setting, but I think it's, it's a fun story and it's worth sharing, is, again, something that I learned from you because I don't remember if you were on the receiving end of coaching or if this was in a session with a client, but you told me a story about the catharsis that came from screaming into a pillow. And so I was in a session with a client and together, we were in person and we were climbing to the top of a mountain, let's call it a small mountain. And we were coaching as we were walking and talking and we got to the top and there was like something, something there, some heaviness that she was still experiencing, but couldn't quite express. And it felt like there was something trapped. I couldn't describe it. Neither could she. And I said, what do you feel is missing in this moment? And she said, I feel like there's just something inside of me that I need to let out. And so all of my nurse brain is like, okay, you know, what, what do we do for this? What's the tool? What's the technique? What's the most powerful question I can ask in this moment that's going to, you know, unlock that thing that feels stuck and trapped. And so we took a deep breath together and we just held space for that moment. And it was like instinctively at the same time, we knew what needed to be done co-creatively sharing this. And I said, well, let's let it out. And she looked at me kind of like, you serious? I'm like, I'm serious. I said, let it out, whatever it needs to be, scream as loud as you possibly can, you are safe here. And without a second beat, she screamed just, Aah! you know, like really let it out, heart and soul. And as soon as she did that, it was like this, this weight was lifted and and there's so much more to this story right and we got to then we had hours and hours of things that we could debrief after that and figure out what was that that was a very vulnerable moment for me to invite somebody to do something so wild so weird so outside of the norm and vulnerable for her to do and yet we trusted and we explored and we played and it was this Really, really powerful creative moment that I I will never forget. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. I recall that moment. <laughs> <laughs> you probably recall like how I felt after that moment too, which was like you know running down the stairs and coming to be like I'm I'm so empowered as a nurse coach because of this thing that was able to be unleashed this this creativity inside of me inside of my client together. When we think about healing. I mean, healing itself, 
like the body's ability to heal itself is this constant state of flux, this constant state of creativity, all of these different systems compounding together. Yeah. And so that's kind of what we're mimicking inside of nurse coaching through these creative processes. Like, yes, there's the moment to ask deep, powerful questions. Yes, there's a moment to do a more holistic lifestyle assessment. And yes, there's the moment to scream your lungs out and to feel as though you are finding once again your voice and to opening up that to allow yourself to move into whatever's next and whatever came next for that client of yours. So I love that. I love that story. Thanks for sharing that. Just a little example of the weird, out of the box, creative ways that, you know, this can really take shape when we come together with our client and we're simply willing to try new things. Yes. Because as you said, and as we always come back to, you know, creativity is limitless, especially when we are willing to open ourselves to it and to invite our clients to do, to do the same. It is limitless. And the other cool thing about creativity is that it also is ever evolving, uh -huh. right? You, you talk about this all the time, you know, what was the most creative thing you've ever done only is true up until the next <laughs> most creative thing you do. Uh, how do you word it? You word it better than that. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. And for me, um, you know, I love, I, I love all the elements of nurse coaching. And there's uh, this other side of me that really enjoys building digital experiences for people. And I remember learning how to design websites back in the CVICU. <laughs> it, was, it was night shift and you know, I was learning, I was super deep in learning about nurse coaching, but I was also switching between charting urinary output on one screen and teaching myself web design Yo, on the other screen. Nobody knows, <laughs> nobody knows how to recover an open heart surgery patient while simultaneously reading books, learning to become a nurse coach, build a business and figure your, out web design. I was your guy though. I, 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 I could do all those yeah, things. Yeah, uh, It wasn't that I was multitasking. I would do what I needed to do for my patient. But then, you know, when they're just chilling, rather than internet shopping, I decided to teach myself you, you did it. web design. And that's kind of continued to evolve. And in a lot of ways, you and I pioneered really effective remote nurse coaching practices. Yes. You know, like it took us a long time to figure that out because there was no real easy way to do it and that we put a lot of effort into creating a digital we call it like a digital experience but like digital connection yeah with our clients and how to have equally as effective coaching sessions with our clients virtually regardless of geographical proximity to each other as in person right in person versus virtual and so i really enjoyed that part of the creative endeavor in as much as learning how to become an entrepreneur, how to master the art and science of nurse coaching. I've also really loved to build digital worlds for people because it, I just do. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just this, this thing that I really get to have a lot of fun with. Yeah. Well, talk about creativity. I mean, you get to bring in so many different skill sets and parts of yourself and learn as you go. That's a huge part of creativity, right? Is learning as you go and then being willing to implement that and try it on. And I think that was the question that I asked you as I flipped that around. I said, well, what's, you know, what's the most creative thing that you're doing as a nurse coach or that you've done as a nurse coach? And you said, well, I think that the most creative thing I've ever done is always the thing that I'm doing right now. Yes. Always the thing that I'm doing right now. And what am I doing right now? <laughs> Here it comes. Back. This, this kind of like sparked this entire episode. Um, was creativity because for the past two weeks, you and I have been sitting down redesigning a digital experience for people and how to like, like, how do you merge the two worlds of coaching, which is this very human experience with a digital online world. And we've been very successful in doing that. You know, there's a reason why 2,346 nurses have trusted <laughs> us to become nurse coaches is because we've really just poured our heart and souls into that creative endeavor. And for the past couple of weeks, we've been doing something that has been really a lot of fun, which is to redesign our redesign our site, redesign our website, and to build like a lot of awesome videos. And so right now, like 
listeners, nurses, nurse coaches, y'all, like, I want you guys to go check that out because it's been just so, so much fun in building that. And it's really the beginning, like phase one of this new elevation of the Nurse Coach Collective's online world, where we have just this amazing, amazing experience from beginning to end for us, for the nurses that come in. And I'm so stoked. I'm so pumped about what we can create. And Yo, Peter, it looks so good. It looks all good. Yeah, we did it a good job. It looks so good. And you say you've been working on it for the last couple of weeks. We've been working on it for many, many months in your mind, in your heart, you know, really putting together all of these creative pieces. And and now these last couple of weeks, us putting our brains together. Been very co-creative with, with the two of us, with understanding like what is it that nurses want to find when they come to see us? What is it that nurse coaches want to learn and to hear about when they come into our world and when they're in our world and when they stay in our world? And so that's been just like this deeply co-creative process between the two of us. But then also without y'all knowing it, like we've been having conversations with you, you know, about what could serve you most powerfully in in that world. And so, yeah, go check it out, y'all, thenursecoaches.com. Um, please, you know, let us know what you think. Check it out. There's a killer video on there uh, that we've been working on called The Story of Nurse Coaching on our on our homepage, which is about 20 minutes and where we've really gotten to tell the story of nurse coaches. And That's a big launch for us. That's a big release to finally be getting this, <laughs> this finished product of not only the new site, but the new video like out into the universe. And don't, don't get me wrong. This has been a enormous amount of work, right? There is so much time and energy and drive that goes into a project like this. But as you can see, we're so excited to share it and we're celebrating how awesome it is because that is ultimately, I think, the end result of getting to be creative. That's the end result of getting to reclaim creativity as a nurse is that it feels awesome. You feel proud of it. You feel fulfilled by it. You feel satisfied and like your light is no longer dimmed. You know, our past website was amazing, but when we kept things the same, it no longer felt creative and it felt like the light was shining really bright. And then we looked at it and it didn't give us the same feel. It didn't light us up in the same way. So we're like, okay, it's time for more creativity so we can turn that light back up, the excitement, the fun. And those are some pretty awesome end results of creativity, I would Pretty think. awesome end results of creativity. So y'all, you know, check out uh, homepage, thenursecoaches.com and uh, watch that video, check out the site. And then my final invitation that I want to close out this with is to, um, if you're not part of our Facebook group, go on in there and like, let's have the conversation this week. Like, what's been the most creative thing, if you're a nurse coach, the most creative thing that you've done in whether it's in a one-on-one session or inside of your practice, building your practice, creating an ideal role for yourself, a dream job. What's been that creative thing that you've done? And if you're a nurse thinking about becoming a nurse coach or you know, simply in practice, like how do you want to bring more creativity to your role this week? What can you do to have more fun inside of your practice? How can you reclaim creativity as a healer, yeah, come on in into the group and let's have that discussion. I love that. Okay, share those resources one more time. The website, thenursecoaches.com. Go watch the story of nurse coaching on our homepage. Go into the Facebook group. You can access it from, uh, you know, right from our site as well. And then, yeah, let's talk. We'll put that post up um, probably a day or two after this episode releases. Awesome. I love that. Fun discussion. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. Peter, always Awesome chatting with you. Thank you. Nurses, nurse coaches, thanks for hanging out with us. Had a lot of fun. And see you soon. See you next time.